Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design. I'm so glad you could join me here today. Um, I have a really fun project. This is a, another folio made with Graphic 45's amazing Imagine collection. Man, I love this collection. It's, it's everything I love. It's pinks, it's steampunk, it's feminine, it's flowers, it's beautiful patterns. It's just phenomenal. So for our um, start of a new design team, at Graphic 45 and they asked the special projects people to participate in this self-portrait um, project which doesn't actually include a picture of ourselves but a project that reflects our styles and shows the technique and all of that sort of thing so you know folios are sort of my thing I started making them when I first came on Graphic 45 two years ago as a brand ambassador and I've just fallen in love with them they're so much fun to make so this is another little um, five by seven and I've decorated it up with some fussy cut images I fussy cut along the cloud line I stitched around the edges um, this is one of their wonderful um, door plates and knobs here's some steampunk gears that kind of fit with this collection then along the spine I've clustered up some really nice uh, metal charms here's a little steampunk gear a little steampunk heart I got these at the funky junkie boutique this little steampunk owl which I don't know where I got him but isn't he cute and then of course one of the amazing graphic 45 clock keys and I've just painted these with um, distress paint in fossilized amber and peacock feathers and just kind of tap the paint on with my fingers these are little birdie flowers um, and I carry these in my Etsy shop these colors are so perfect for this collection it's like they were made for it and then I did a really fun thing, and this is the technique I want to tell you about. Um, I dyed white seam binding ribbon to custom match the colors of this collection. And I did that using the Decades um, ink pads. I used the Precious Pink, and I used the Antique Lace, and I used a little bit of the Bon Voyage Blue. And I have a tutorial on Facebook you can find that shows you how to do it. It's the easiest thing in the world. You just kind of smoosh the ink down into your craft sheet, spritz it with water, and then scrunch your ribbon up into that lovely inky puddle, dry it with a heat gun, and you've got custom dyed um, seam binding, which is just awesome. So I've used little ATC tags as a closure mechanism and added this um, more of this hand dyed ribbon and we'll just open this up and we'll see what is inside so starts out um, this is not a full-size trifold because I didn't have the time to make a full-size trifold but this first little wing here is I want to say it's about three inches yep three inches and I just created a little pocket and lined it inside I use this image from the Cut Apart page, which is one of my favorites, to build a little folio. And I use one of the two from ATC laser cut tags to make this sweet little tag to tuck inside. Ran some burlap through the top. And then of course there's room on the back for a photo or journaling. And you could tuck another little memento or a gift card into here if you were giving this as a gift. And then the ephemera cards from this collection, Graphic 45's ephemera cards just keep getting better and better. So I've tucked one of those in there. Um, it's always nice to have a place to write down um, memories. Then over here on the left, I've created one of my flap pages. And we've talked before how to make these. Um, this is a little bit different because um, I couldn't score the ephemera card so what I did was I added a piece and you can probably see it back behind here and then tucked that back behind this page and then I here's the back side of the ephemera card and then I just adhered another ephemera card over the top so just so I can make sure you see that and then here is a pocket and in here I have a whole stack of photo mounts, another one of these wonderful um, ephemera cards with room on the back for journaling, and I just do some of my scraps to make this cute little belly band. Fussy Cut Achieve from the border sheet, 
And here's another one of those steampunk charms. The stamps in this collection are great. And this is just a little snippet left over and I stuck it in there because I thought it looked neat. So that's that page. Then this flips out and there's another pocket on the back side. And what I've done here is created these fun little, um, I think they measure two and five eighths by three and one eighths little folios for tiny pictures. And, and then these just tuck into this pocket. And these are just fun. And it was a great way to use up my scraps. I'm always looking for little ways to use up my scraps. And then of course in the center I have a waterfall feature and this is something I love to make. Um, this has a magnetic closure. The belly band opens. Here's the cover and then the pages just flip. So um, ephemera card here, patterned paper here and that's just the pattern all the way through. Um, here I just changed it up a little bit and stacked a couple of the smaller ephemera cards paper. Here I just did one of the little cut aparts glued on the side so you can stick your photo back behind there. Patterned paper. Here's another um, and you could actually tuck something in here because that's open and then room for journaling. And then on the bottom I just created a little pocket. Stuck in a couple more ephemera cards um, and that is that. Then this closes and the magnet holds it shut. The back side is also decorated with this wonderful gears paper. I love this. This is the back side of the border um, page and I just love all those clocks. And then another little cut apart from the border strip just so you could write a date or an event. So that is my um, self-portrait project for Graphic 45. Thank you so much for joining me. I welcome all the new design team members, all those new brand ambassadors there in for a wonderful time. I hope I've inspired you and given you some ideas that you can use. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to go get my craft on.